I've uh, been having hallucinations lately. I'll tell you about them uh, in a moment, but first, my first experience with an hallucination was uh, after taking a sleeping medication, Ambien. I was warned, uh, but that didn't uh, prevent me from being very frightened when I awakened very early in the morning. Uh, and felt that there was uh, someone else in the room. There seemed to be a figure across the room near the far wall. I think I started yelling and then uh, screaming and throwing pillows and nothing seemed to uh, affect the vision. So I turned the light on. Uh, that took care of things. Um, my heart continued to pound and uh, I didn't want to go through that again. More recently, beginning about uh, uh, maybe three months ago, I started getting infusions of gamma globulin. Uh, shortly after that, uh, I noticed when I peed that uh, when my stream hit the surface of the water, I uh, was peeing golden grains. Well, that was unusual, but for some reason, I wasn't frightened. The next time uh, something happened was also while I was peeing, uh, bubbles appeared. Oddly enough, they were, each of them was a square and they uh, clung together until they were a large mass, each of them about the size of a nickel. Uh, the mass grew. And even when I stopped peeing, um, the bubbles continued to grow and began to overflow the toilet bowl. I was curious, so I stuck my finger in the batch and they all disappeared. Uh, then on the way home from one of the times of the infusions, I said to Lucy, look, the tree leaves are purple. She said, no, they're not. I said, they are. So she pulled over, lowered the, my window, and I looked, and I said, yes, they're purple. And I said, the grass is purple. Uh, we continued until we got home. She said, what about our front yard? I said, the grass is purple. She pulled into the back and the backyard grass was purple too. Uh, I wasn't frightened by any of this. I just thought it was weird and interesting. Then uh, when I went into my room, I noticed my pale green plain cover quilt now had uh, dark brown hatching on it and the hatching continued up the wall of the room. Um, following that, uh, My clothing changed in color, sometimes uh, changing from a blue to a deep purple, uh, most often uh, having some kind of cross-hatching of a different color. 
then uh, when I shaved last night, uh, after I applied some shading cream and started to shade, the hairs in my beard became very prominent. And uh, as I shaved them off, uh, they became more prominent. And then they continued to spread across my chest, then across the mirror on the wall, and then onto the sink. I finished shaving, uh, cleaned my face off, and then the hairs on the mirror and the sink disappeared. An early time that I'd just forgotten uh, and remembered was I looked out the, the, room, the window of the room where I was getting the infusion. And there was a large uh, structure, looked like a warehouse. Beyond it, uh, was another warehouse. Uh, the roof was a lighter color. And the longer I looked, it took on the appearance of the peaks of a run of mountain tops. Yesterday, while I was getting an infusion, I looked across the room to the wall out in the hall. There was a figure that resembled the figures of Paul Clay. And they, for some reason, became surrounded by golden lines. Uh, as I switched my vision to the wall in the room where I was getting the infusion, those golden lines remained, so the wall appeared to be covered with lines that formed uh, circles and hexagons and squares. It's interesting for me, the very various types of my hallucinations the colors, the forms, the shapes, all very interesting. I tell everybody about them. Even my neurologist is interested. I asked him if he could explain it. He said he had no explanation, but ordered for me to have an MRI of my brain. That turned out to be normal. So I guess it's all due to my infusions of gamma globulin. Still fascinating. <laughs>